All I need to do is keep it greased, brush it. Like I got a brush in my bag right now, but if I wasn't filming, I'd be brushing it right now. That's about all I need. Need a mirror? I'm good. I greased my hair. So I do. Good morning. I mean, you can't brush it. I mean, yeah. Blow drying it when I get out of the shower and combing it. Total, probably four minutes. It's the quickest way to dry your hair, and if you don't blow dry your hair, it tends to get frizzy. I don't put any time into my hair. Uh, I dry my hair and I'm done. So it comes out this way. How do I maintain my hair? Well, this is what happened. I wake up and I leave. I leave the house, that's it. I decide to get a haircut when my hair doesn't do what I want it to do anymore. Sometimes when it gets long enough in the front here, you can already see it flips outwards, like toward, pointing towards the person I'm looking at. Oh, it takes an hour for me to do my hair. Does it take me, I wash it and then I, I brush it and it dries by itself. I do not do a blow dryer or anything weird. I just wash it and comb it and that's it. My hairstyle is kind of just low and even. It means it's low, it makes sure it's not faded anywhere. Every spot looks the same. I would say Marco, but I could also say something like maybe the Hollister flip or something like that. It's traditional for most African Americans. So for all y'all who has hair, stop judging this. All right, you can't touch this. I have um, dreadlocks. If I had to give my hairstyle a name, it would be functional. I just got <laughs> full cut. <laughs> no, I just got it. Just cut. Um, I don't really give it a particular name. Oh, this is uh, this is called a wrap. A wrap. R A P. Wrap. Well, like um, if a person is emo, they might they'll probably have like an emo. Theme over or something like that. I don't usually uh, assume things because of a hairstyle. I think people a lot of times tend to associate uh, military haircuts to stereotype people and, and would ask, you know, are you in the military? Are you in boot camp? So there is a, still a little bit of uh, stereotyping that goes on relative to that. If someone had like, mm, like a high top. Like I would think they're, you know, they're kind of old school just because no one has high tops anymore nowadays. But like that person with the mohawk with different colors, I think he's, I think he's actually kind of cool for doing that, going, uh, trying to be different. If you have facial hair, it's okay. I would prefer it stay on men. I think if you got it, you flaunt it. If you can grow a handlebar mustache, you know. All the power to you. It just naturally makes you smarter to have a beard to tug on while you're thinking. It's like resistance training for your brain. So there you have it. It's, it's really important to me to be able to, um, to, to figure out who you are through your hair, you know, so that you can show everybody a little bit of who you are before they have a chance to even meet you, you know. Just by the way you fix your hair. It's kind of fun, actually.